Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial Power BI Bookmarks and Power BI Bookmarks is an interesting feature which allows us to bookmark based on the analysis that we are doing. For example, if based on some selections we want to save the analysis then we can do this with the help of the bookmarks. Also bookmarks have some innovative uses as well which I will show you in a separate video but here I want you to introduce to the bookmark feature which is in the Power BI and make the basic use of it so that you have multiple analysis saved based on just one single dashboard for your user which may be very helpful let's say if you are giving a presentation you don't have to make all the selection but you just pre-select all the analysis like multiple analysis based on multiple selections and just present it in the front end and this sheet before i move ahead just wanted to show you that this sheet is present in the description which you can see or access to jump directly onto any other tutorial which is present here and i have posted earlier on the youtube with the link information and title information all right so for bookmarks let's go into the power bi all right so here we are in the power bi and to enable the bookmark section what you need to do is come here in view and enable the bookmark now i'm using the most latest version of the power bi so my bookmark is enabled here or present here if you are using the previous version you may have to look into the option i think in the file and uh, in the options and settings there is there is setting related to the uh, bookmark for the previous version that's where you need to look at i think preview features is the section where it is it is enabled all right so let me enable the bookmark over here so this is the bookmark section which is now enabled so here a quick commentary is present as use bookmarks to capture key data for yourself and others filter data to get the state you want to capture that means it is a state based capturing of information and why it is important let's say you are preparing for a meeting where you want to show based on the regular air how much orders or how much sales is happening so in that case this is just a very simple example but things like uh, you have regular air and couple of more selections and you want to make sure that you are doing those selection in advance and saving those selections so that you don't have to do those uh, reselection within the meeting and sometimes it happens we don't even remember so in scenario where you have to do multiple selections and save it do the selection first click on the add over here and here on from these three ellipses more options come here and rename this and say regular air sales right similarly let's say you made some more selections like express air over here and maybe a couple of more selections based on the filters that is that is present to you to do a comparison between two you can come back here and click on add and then again you can click on rename and here we will say express air sales so this is just an idea i wanted to give you that i am just doing one selection but you may have multiple filters and you want to do multiple selection and want to save it over here now let's say we have a meeting and we have opened our uh, our this application and we want to look at how our regular air sales looks like so based on whatever selection we have made four five eight ten we can just click over here and all those selections will appear over here similarly if i select express air related uh, analysis that we made that analysis will come over here so this is very beneficial from from the perspective that as an analyst or as a developer you have created like multiple views and you want to take now the feedback uh, from your end user whether all of those views all of those analysis is fine and uh, you can save these analysis as an entire list maybe 5 8 10 15 different views as to you know go through and and fi finalize every if everything looks fine so that's very quickly about uh, the the bookmark but as you can see you have couple of options like the update rename delete data display current page so main important is the rename delete and update let's say you you we have this this is like regular sales but we also want a delivery truck as well so we have the delivery truck and regular air and the way we do multiple selection i hold it 
I hold down the control key and select the second selection. That's how I've done the multiple selection here. And now I can come over here on the regular sale and I click on update. So now if I come to the express air, you only have express air. But if I come to the regular air, since I have updated it, you have delivery truck and regular air, which we can rename here as delivery truck slash regular air. We can expand this little bit so that it is coming fine. So that's about how you can save the state or you can save your work based on the analysis you are doing for multiple scenario perspective and uh, make sure that in the meeting you don't have to remember all the selections which you know you need to make to convince your end user about about your analysis everything is done previously based on whatever you have done here in this dashboard so that's about it and now i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic